truthfully, uh, what happened when the pandemic hit almost two years ago uh, was that it became very clear, even in the first weeks, that politicians, uh, and including Donald Trump, but not exclusively Donald Trump, we're going to take advantage of the crisis to advance their own political interests, even at the expense of human life, and that business leaders, both uh, you know, people who ran individual companies as well as billionaire investors, were going to uh, take every advantage they could of the circumstance to make themselves dramatically wealthier. And the truth is that uh, it wasn't hard to, to detail this reality. In fact, as an example, Trump acknowledged to Bob Woodward that he lied to the American people about the severity of the crisis. That I would argue in the midst of a pandemic is a pretty criminal act. And then I would also suggest to you that if you take a look at the record of Pfizer and other pharmaceutical companies, the level of excess profits that they have taken in the midst of, of a, a truly uh, dramatic moment in, in American history and world history uh, is so so far beyond the bounds that it definitely enters into the stage of or into the realm of profiteering. Yes, there's been some political accountability, but at the much deeper level, at the level of accountability for genuine profiteering, for genuinely criminal or at least uh, incredibly dangerous and damaging acts, uh, no, there hasn't been a sufficient level of account accountability. There's been very little at all. And there's very little consciousness of it. And I want to emphasize that because a consciousness of what happened an awareness of what happened and of the fact that people could be held to account is what's necessary if we're going to shift our direction and actually get on top of these things. I'll give you one example. Uh, at the start of the pandemic, America's billionaires controlled $3 trillion. Uh, 18 months into the pandemic, they controlled $5 trillion one of the most exponential growths in billionaire wealth in American history. And yet, at the same time, we were asking nurses and bus drivers and factory workers to share in sacrifice. I would argue the billionaires did not share in sacrifice. And I would suggest to you that if people were really conscious of that, we would be demanding a tax rate uh, similar to what Franklin Roosevelt or Dwight Eisenhower accepted for the top marginal uh, tier in our tax uh, lists. And that would be about 90, 95%. And tell me, how do you account for the fact, and go back to something you said a little earlier, that there isn't a broad-based consciousness of this, that Americans either don't know it or they know it, but don't know what to do quite with the knowledge of it. How do you see that whole problem of public awareness and response? Well, look, we live in a system that that rewards profiteering, that rewards political calculus, uh, uh, that is not respectful of human needs or of, of uh, frankly, human suffering. And so as a result, uh, much of our media and much of our political class tends to treat uh, huge crises in our lives that affect all of us as natural disasters. Now, the fact of the matter is the pandemic was a, a, a global phenomenon. It hit countries around the world. But how you respond to that crisis, that's the key. And in the United States, the response was disproportionately uh, on the side of the political elites and the economic elites, not on the side of the great mass of people. As a result, we had a dramatically higher level of death than other countries at, in comparable circumstances. And in fact, the, La the Lancet, the British Medical Journal estimated about a year into the crisis, that 40% of the deaths in the first year in the United States did not need to occur. They were unnecessary. And so we're looking literally at hundreds of thousands of people who died unnecessarily because our system allows economic and political elites to think of their own advantage rather than to think of doing what any decent human being would do in, in such a circumstance, which is to care for others.